China becomes a proxy participant in Russian-Ukrainian war, providing satellite images to Moscow. The US has warned its allies that China is providing satellite imagery to Russia to assist the Kremlin in its war in Ukraine. Amid signs of continued military integration between the two nations, China has provided Russia with satellite imagery for military purposes, as well as microelectronics and machine tools for tanks, according to people familiar with the matter, Bloomberg reported citing sources. Recall Chinese leader Xi Jinping has repeatedly emphasized strategic cooperation with Russian President Vladimir Putin, which was termed a no-limits partnership in February 2022. According to Newsweek, though the use of the term no limits partnership has disappeared from joint statements by China and Russia, the two have witnessed increasing convergence since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. China-Russia bilateral trade reached a record $250 billion in 2023, with Chinese companies increasing investments as Western firms left Russia following the imposition of sanctions. The US has now issued multiple warnings to European Union and NATO foreign ministers about Beijing's support for Russia being at a concerning scale, which includes tools, inputs and technical expertise, the Financial Times reported. Secretary of State Antony Blinken recently told EU and NATO foreign ministers that Beijing was assisting the Kremlin with the production of optical equipment and propellants and that there has been increased cooperation in the space sector. There has been a shift and it was felt in the room this was a new development. It was very striking. One individual told the Financial Times, speaking on condition of anonymity, citing Blinken's comments to European leaders. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned her Chinese counterpart, Vice Premier He Lifeng, during her visit to China that there will be significant consequences for Chinese companies supporting Moscow's war against Ukraine. On April the 2nd, President Joe Biden mentioned China's support for Russia's defense industrial base with Xi Jinping during a phone call, according to a readout by the White House. Russian special services prepare new terrorist attack to blame Ukrainian partisans. Representatives of Russian special services are attempting to organize another terrorist attack. The goal of the provocation will be to further attempt to shift responsibility for it onto Ukrainian partisans and underground members, according to the Crimean resistance movement Atesh. It is noted that recently the coordinators of this movement have been regularly receiving messages from representatives of the Russian special services posing as local activists. They propose to carry out diversions in places of mass gatherings of civilians, the underground members say. The movement points out that the special services of the aggressor country are preparing a terrorist act and will try to blame Atesh for it. This is indicated in particular by a low level of indicators and an obvious systematic campaign against our movement. Moscow wants to mobilize as many Russians as possible with this provocation who will seek revenge for the Ukrainian terrorist attacks the resistance forces add. They have already created numerous fake Atesh accounts, falsified dialogues with our coordinators and provoked our supporters to commit terrorist acts, the underground members report. The movement also pointed out that the fake accounts are almost identical to their previous coordinators, but with an additional S at the end. A reminder, we are working exclusively against the occupiers, the modern Czechists, are ready for any crime. Remember who your enemy is and do not forget that we are fighting for common freedom, the partisans emphasize. Recall on March the 22nd, in the Russian town of Krasnogorsk in the Moscow region, several armed men opened fire in the Crocus City Hall. That same evening, hints began to emerge in the Kremlin that the Ukrainian side could be involved in the terrorist act. One person died and several people, including a child, were injured in huge fire that started in a home in East Boston on Tuesday morning. The fire that started around 5 a.m. at a home on Meridian Street near West Eagle Street spread to two other homes, according to Boston Fire Department. The fire department said six people living in the home and a firefighter were taken to the hospital. One of them had life-threatening injuries. Four other people were rescued from the building, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries battling the blaze. I want to share my deepest condolences to the family who has lost someone here this morning. It's incredibly heartbreaking to feel what the family must be feeling, and we will do whatever we can at the city level to support all those who are displaced or are going to need some time recovering in the hospital," Mayor Michelle Wu said at a presser near the scene of incident. 
The fire has displaced around 30 people. According to Boston Fire Commissioner Paul Burke, damage caused to all three buildings is estimated at around $5 million.